a long time, I didn't know I had anxiety or depression. My experience wasn't like what you see in the movies. I wasn't crying all the time. I've never had a panic attack. Since then, I've learned that there's a lot of ways that anxiety and depression can look. For me, depression made me stop enjoying the things I used to. I stopped looking forward to volleyball practice and eventually I just stopped going. I started picking fights with my friends and was constantly annoyed by my family. I was worrying a lot about school and just felt paralyzed, like I couldn't even start my assignments. One time I had to write an essay for English, but I felt drained and it was impossible to start it. Every time I tried to work on it, I would end up watching YouTube on my phone or taking a nap. In the end, I wrote the essay right before it was due and got a D on it, which just proved what I thought, that I can't do anything right. Anxiety and depression are a lot more common than you might think. Almost everyone experiences worry or feeling down from time to time, but for some of us, it can really get in the way. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, teaches skills for overcoming anxiety and depression. Through CBT, I've learned that there's a relationship between my thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. When I have to do something difficult, like a tough school assignment, I tend to think that I'm going to fail or it will never be good enough. These thoughts make me feel hopeless and anxious. I feel my chest tightening up or I might get a headache. And usually I get overwhelmed just thinking about the work. Instead of doing whatever I'm supposed to be doing, I just take a nap or go online. I feel better in the moment, but over time it makes the situation worse, which makes my anxiety and depression worse. CBT has helped me a lot. I've learned cognitive coping strategies, which help with my negative thinking. I've learned relaxation strategies, like mindfulness and muscle relaxation to help with the headaches and the tightness in my chest. And I've also learned behavioral activation and exposure skills, which have gotten me back to doing important things, like running, spending time with friends, and even finishing assignments on time. It's not perfect. I still feel worried and get down on myself sometimes, but now I have the skills to cope, which makes me a lot more hopeful about the future. <laughs>